Now that we've gone ahead and built our first groups and learned how to work with them, let's go ahead and build our first presets because that's really the next thing on our step to make cues. So presets are just building blocks for cues, but what makes them special is if you update a preset later, every cue that you build from that preset, whether five cues or 500, gets updated instantly. That's the power of presets. Presets also affect every light that's in them. You, you record every light that's in them, um, but then as you work with them and you're building cues, you only select the lights you want, apply the preset, and then you're off to the races. I'll show you some examples so it'll make a lot more sense. First, we're gonna go ahead and we'll just select our spots. And in this case, we'll just work with them for now. Though in a typical setting, I would grab every single group of lights and store all of them into presets. Actually, we'll walk through that. First thing I'm gonna do is just take my intensity to full, go ahead and record a preset. Name it full just by typing and hitting enter after hitting record, select it in spot, same as groups. And now we can go ahead and demonstrate a little bit of how this works. So as mentioned, if I select all 10 of those lights that I just put into this preset and apply the preset, we see it across all 10 lights. However, if I select just one or two of those lights and hit the preset, only those two have the preset activate. So this is the power. You typically with presets take every light or every light that has the given function, store it into the preset, but then when you're using it, you don't use it with every light at every time, okay? For this reason, you only really need one full preset for your whole rig. Same with, you know, a blue color, right? Or any color. You don't need multiple presets for different groups of lights or different positions. Um, you just need one, and then you select the individual lights, put them in the preset before putting them in the queue. So that's where the selection happens. Presets are organized, as you can see here, into different parameter groups. In Onyx, those are intensity, pan tilt, color, gobo beam, beam effects, and framing. In general, it's best to stick with these groups to go, hey, I'm gonna go adjust the pan and tilt on these lights, right? Um, let me select all of them. So I'll highlight them, select those lights, adjust the pan and tilt, let's just do that. And I'm gonna record that. I generally wanna record that to a pan tilt preset group, right? That's a good idea. However, you can override that using the record options pop-up, which again is beyond this basics video, but is something you can do if you so desire. For most people, it's best to just stick with it, including me, I'm pretty simple-minded. Once you've done these, you're gonna wanna build a lot of different presets. In fact, I would say the bulk of programming time for a lot of show files is spent in the presets because what it's going to allow you to do is you have all of these different presets of different types is select the lights, call up the presets, and then record those into cues. And that's gonna be the last step. So that's about it for this video. What we're gonna do is we're wrapping it up is actually go ahead and press clear twice, clear everything out. And we're gonna go ahead to the menu and load the demo file that is not patch only that has all the stuff in it. While that happens, we'll get to the next video. Um, and the reason we're loading this is because this has a bunch of groups, presets, and cues already built into them. So we can work with what's already there and teach you the rest of the basics of Onyx. Let's dive in.